Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. 2023 Tinubu Oshomole sidelined as CPC power blog takes over APC structure nationwide. Hey, hey my people, Oshomole and Tinubu strategizing. And um, everyone is beginning to see uh, Tinubu is being left out and dry uh according to all we know tinubu worked tirelessly to ensure he was one of the persons honestly that really worked to ensure that buhari emerged as the governor of or president i beg your pardon president of nigeria but right now and then, then they had a gentleman agreement that he would take over from buhari the plan then initially was that uh, Tinubu will be the deputy to uh, uh, Buhari. However, everyone kicked against it that there has never been a Muslim Muslim uh, ticket. So Tinubu was one of those who suggested Professor Yemi Osibanjo being a Christian. So it becomes it became a a, a Muslim Christian uh, ticket. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. 2023 Tinubu Oshomole sidelined. A CPC power block takes over APC structure nationwide. They plan on how to take it back. A report by this day indicates that a new power block has emerged in the All Progressive Congress APC ahead of 2023 presidential election. According to the report, the recent dissolution of the state executive structure of the ruling party seemed like a hijack of the power structure and an indication that the battle for 2023 will be a storming one for Tinubu, Ushomole, and the rest. <laughs> the report stated that the dissolution executive committee, the dissolution of the party and the executive and all down the party structure has their alliance in the sacked APC national chairman comrade Adam Sushumole and his dissolution of the NWC is all part of the strategy to make sure the to make sure Tinubu is crippled. To that extent, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, has also been sidelined with Adams Ushumole being the key ally. Even with the title national leader Shiwaji Bola Tinubu possesses, is not really a bona fide member of the National Executive Committee and has no weight or no, po no position or has no words. His words mean nothing in APC. As when the executive meets, is not part of them and cannot influence decision being taken by the party. It all started with Ushomole being out of the way and the national and the Ketiko Committee co coming into place. Ketiko Committee has come into place and now the structures of even the state level trying to get Tinubu into the place has also been dissolved, putting in Ketiko Committee. Therefore, to dissolve the former executive committee was to sweep off and completely take off the whole old structure and erect a new one and throw new order that has nothing to do with Oshomole Tinubu allies as they have swept all their members and allies and all those loyal to them out of the big game totally. APC as an association of some legal political parties, including the Congress of Progressive Change, CPC, Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, and the All Nigerian Party, People Party, ANPP, seem to be non, seem to be one-sided at the moment. In the ensuring political power struggle, the C the Congress of Progressive Change CPC seem to have outsmarted other members of the alliance that joined to form APC. There is also the new PDP members in the APC who deflected from the opposition People Democratic Party to the APC in 2014. But only the Minister of Transportation, Robert Miyamichi, is the notable member of the group remaining in the APC as the rest have since gone back to the PDP. They include former Senate President Bukola Sereki, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, Sokoto State Governor Amir Tabowa, 
to achieve their main aim, the CPC blog planted the emergency NEC meeting to execute their national chaos in the party. Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu and his loyalists out of the way cleverly swept off. Right before his eyes, the strategy has been ashed and the plan is it has nothing, just a name that means or stands for nothing. In other reports, a group Northern Central People Forum have urged other zone political zone in the country to, to size the presidency to the North Central region in 2023, and the nations has reported. The group said the North Central was yet to have a shot at the presidency under the democratic setting, saying it is enough to is enough for the rest of Nigeria to consider the region in 2023. Addressing reporters in Elon Rikwara State on Saturday, December the 12th, the Secretary General of the NCPF, Kazim Balejo, said the all, all the remaining five zoopolitical zones in the country have produced the president of the country and the North Central is yet to have a shot under the democratic setting. Our vote is the North Central are more and the, and the Southwest votes than the Southwest votes. But because the Southwest has the press to make the noise, it always got as if they have more votes. If politically, if politically we are sidelined again, we will not allow this to happen. In a related development, the agitated members of the leaders of the All Progressive Congress APC on the other region said pro to produce President Muhammad Buhari's successor may have to wait till the next time, not this one. Credible sources in the ruling party said the APC would take the important decision on where 2023 presidential candidates will come from in June 2023. It was gathered that if the North gets the short, the slot for the national chairman of the party during the national convention of the party, the presidential candidates will come from the South and vice versa. Meanwhile, as the debate on the zoning to produce president to produce Buhari's successor in 2023 heats up the special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Mr. Femi Adeshino, has advised the people of the Southeast to play good politics if truly they want to have a shot in the office of the president. The presidential aide made this known on Friday, December the 11th, in an article titled David Domahi, Heart of a Lion. The additional said Ed, Ebony State Governor has shown the capacity to contest for the presidency come 2023. So, my people, uh, Adam Soshomole, uh, Shiwaju Bola Tinubu has cleverly been dumped by APC. Well, the race continue. We'll keep you informed. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.